although San Agustin, 354 to 430, is the first author to deal more or less generally with the issue of civil society. It is not only in the 19th century, within a panorama characterized by an accelerated scientific and technical development, that its mother concept originated, which was conceived by the Prussian philosopher Hegel, 1770 to 1831, who, in addition to developing a fundamentally methodical philosophy, did not want to expose an ideal stage, but rehabilitate the real state. Hegel was the first great modern philosopher who conceptualized in a complex way the term civil society, taking up the naturalistic tradition and the conception that the individual is holder of rights and agent of moral conscience. For this thinker, civil society is the path that starts from the private sphere and culminates in the public space. Thus, civil society is the meeting point between the particular and the universal individual and general interest, the private sphere and the public sphere. Another of the most important thinkers of the 19th century is John Stuart Mill, a Scottish philosopher and economist who stood out for his contributions to political philosophy, economics and methodology. This philosopher, too, developed widely theories concerning the state and freedom. For Mill, the basic principle of freedom is that each individual, group of individuals, and the government refrain from meddling in the thought, expression and action of others, so that freedom ends where the other begins. On the other hand, the Scottish philosopher and economist Adam Smith, another illustrious 19th century thinker, laid the foundations of economic science and, to a lesser extent, made contributions in the file of political philosophy, among which his famous work, Intrinsically Political, about the principles of free enterprise or liberal capitalism stands out. Many of his fundamental reflections are contained in his theory of moral sentiments, in which he exposes and analyzes the characteristics of human nature and individual action. Smith conceived the universe as a system whose purpose is expressed in terms of order, stability, harmony, and happiness. Likewise, the singer stated emphatically that capital must serve to the development and progress of nations and individuals with a well-governed government.